Sorry. You like that deal better? Oh, you know. Yes, sir. Oliver, you like that deal better? Oh, you know. Yes, sir. Oh, I have missed this coffee. Sorry. You like that deal better? Yes? Yes, sir. Is it the deal better, Mrs. Beckwith? Yes, sir. Just as I expected. Just as if I listen to your chest. Are you sure it was entirely wise to bring him here? <coughs> it's the best time to find his home. That's as maybe, but I'm sure it would have been much easier if you just left all the other people. Let's see what he has to say for himself. Well, this one is rather interesting, Mrs. Bedwin. Hmm. I should need to ask you a few questions. Is that all right? Yes, sir. Well, are you sleeping? Not sleeping. No. Ah! Are you hungry, boy? No, sir. No. He's not hungry either. <coughs> well, we're difficult, this one. Hmm. Ooh, ooh, ah! The thirsty! You're thirsty? Yes? Yes, sir. Quite thirsty. Ah! Just as I expected. It's well, the natural the boy should be thirsty, Mrs. Beckman. You may give him a little tea. Mm. Just one second. <coughs> I think you may. Just need to clear the airways first. <coughs> Just one tiny second. <coughs> but it's not purposes and all that. <coughs> yeah. Don't keep him too long, Mrs. Bevan. But don't let him get too cold either. Will you have a good miss? Yes, sir. Thank you. Doctor, do you notice the world's extraordinary light between that boy's face? Hmm. I can't see I do it by being nice with you. I only know two sorts of boys. Me like this boys, and be like this boys. I'm a soul. Me like. Where did they come from? Didn't I tell you? It was a restless just in my pocket handkerchief. What, sir? It was all my mistake. It was a shock if I explained to us what was really done. It was released by the magistrate. And I brought it back here. To make what amends I could. So I must confess. I found myself straightly attached to the boy. He's deceiving you, my good friend. He has had a fever. What is that? Fevers are peculiar to good people, aren't they? Bad people get fevers sometimes, don't they? He stole your pocket and your cheek, didn't he? Then he'll steal more stuff. He did. Yes, what is it? I'm sure it's not good for the son. Ah, yes, I'm sorry, but I have some more books. But wait, wait a moment. Send it by the window. He'll be sure to deliver them safely, you know. If he does, I'll eat my head, sir. Please, may I take them, sir? Oh, well, if you wish, then you shall. Now, I'll tell you what I want you to do. Take these books, and say you'll come to pay for four pounds ten of Mr. Brown and Bose. Now, here's five pounds. So, no need to rush. You should go stand the road. I shall expect you back in ten minutes. We shall see. Ten minutes. Twist! I'll give him twist! <laughs> Alright, Billy. 
Hey, I couldn't see Mr. Bumble. I'm Mr. Bumble's my wife, Mrs. Bumble. Oh, very good, sir. Step this way and follow me. Mr. Browner, you have a visitor by the name of Bob Oh, it's me too. I understand you bring information regarding the boy, or the twist. I have come in and with your advertisement, sir. But with my name, sir, being on the workhouse, when the boy was cared for, where he was apprenticed to the table, where he ran away from. Which gets it. <laughs> and do you know where the boy is now? No, 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 why, sir? And what do you know? Ah, this little trinket was from one of lads that I wrote to my dear wife before she passed away. That's my dad, my mother, not my dear wife. Mrs. Boo has kept this all this time. You mean to say when he left your work? When? On the Ah, yes. Oh, it was five hours. Um, you mean to say you sold my banana? It was Mrs. Bumble that she apologized to them. Really? Then I shall see you in my office. The boy in a situation of trust again. You may leave my house. I hope she forced service now will not require a work from your office. Indeed it shall. And you may think yourself well off besides. It was Mrs. Bumble, she will do it! <laughs> and are indeed the more guilty of the two in the eyes of the law. But the law supposes that your wife has in your direction. If the law supposes that, then the law is an ass. If not by the eye of the law, then the law is a bachelor. And, and I wish that the law may be opened by experience. By experience!
after finding his way. Bill Sykes was never seen or heard of again, and so the future is bright and everyone is happy. But we have some unfinished business with someone who will never change. Yes, of course it is. Fantastic. I don't buy any of the buckles at all. 